Hi, I'm Mark Cleborn, and welcome to the Photographer Academy. And today we're getting started with Smug Mug. And in these two films, we're looking at the pure basics of kind of building a site from scratch. In fact, we start with a trial account and developing it through so we end up with a really good looking site in a minimal amount of time. Now, one of the great things about Smug Mug, it allows us to customize and choose our own designs as well as the feelings and colors and so on. Um, but as it's very, very personal, the site that I'm building here is kind of just something that looks good to me. Obviously, you've got to use these kind of skills to go on and develop your own site. So we're starting off with the trial account, and then the first thing we're going to get into is developing the home page so it looks good and feels good. Then we're going to start to look at simple navigation, uh, adjusting that and kind of creating links. We're going to be uploading to galleries. We're going to be creating a page, which is an about page. And then we're also going to be looking at things like quick settings to allow repetitive tasks within the smug mug environment to be quicker for us, especially when we get into uh, client um, up uploads into the second film as such. So again, remember this is a back to basics, getting started with smug mug film. Um, without delay, I think we should get into the session. So I'm going to be making this site just by using the Try It Now option. So I'm going to click on the Try It Now option. And then the first point is to select my design, my look and my feel as it were. Just having a quick look through and just choose the one that is best for your design. Now remember we can change this at any stage we want. Just clicking on preview there in the smoky. And in fact, I'm going to choose this design for now. Now the top left hand side here shows me how it will simulate itself on mobile devices as well as on the computer screen. So I'm going to click on choose this design. Now at this stage I need to give it a site name. So just mark Cleghorn. Then I'm just going to give it a name, MC Photography. If it won't allow us, it'll tell us. Now you can see this site name is already in use. So let me just add in the Cleghorn. That can, that's good. Just paste in my email address into here. And then a quick password for now. At that point, I'm going to just remember that password for now. And that's going ahead now and kind of giving us some help as we're going through to create that new site. So these kind of help boxes are there to kind of allow us to work through our workflow. So let's first of all click on the upload button. Now this is going to be the gallery name. So let's call this just front page. And this, this is a gallery of images by Mark Cleghorn. Now this is the first start to kind of make sure that I'm filling the information in case it's being used for SEO. Now the parent folder is going to be the home page and the privacy level is public mode obviously kind of showing off but I could hide that at any stage. Now at this stage I need to upload some images so I'm just going to use a simple drag and drop just going to go into my smug mug media files here that I've made up earlier. Just going to click into front page and then control A to select all those and just drag those in. So as you can see here, there's a whole mixture of different size of images in here. Now remember with smug mug, you don't need to resize. They do that for you on the fly. Every time we upload an image, it's made into multiple sizes to view. So depending on how we're giving our viewer the experience on a website, whether it's a very large image to view or a small image to view, which we're going to set into the gallery settings in a minute. This is just a whole mixture of images, everything from 7 meg to quarter meg images, just all JPEGs, of course. Remember, what we've got to upload is a JPEG file or a PNG file or a animated or static GIF. So click Done there. So all I'm going to do now is go in and change some of the front page options. Now there's quite a lot of photographs here perhaps I don't want to use. So I can go in and edit these out of course. But I want to go back to the home page. So by just clicking up onto the Mark Cleborn logo there. I want to start some kind of change in what we've got here. So you can see we've got images that are very, very close together. I can go in and organize these in a minute. But let's go in and choose uh, the main photograph. So at this stage, I'm going to go to Customize, just at the top here. Click on to Customize Site. And you can see it's coming up with these blue boxes to help us again. Now really what I want to do is just edit this home page, so that's OK. And I want to go in and change this photograph. 
this is a smug bugger image by default so I'm just going to click onto the tools options here and that's the highlighted bar in blue there go into the options then I'm just going to click the X to get rid of that image just going to click on the icon here uh, to go and choose a photograph I'm just going to choose this bride it's a horizontal image of course and it will give me the best quality running throughout the whole site it's full res as well and then I just need to decide on whether there's going to be any other action I'm going to change in here. Now remember this is my home page, what bothered about text is going to be associated with this photograph. I just want it to fill the width as you can see here by default. And then just going into done. And then the next stage is to coming down to the base and clicking onto the tools bar again. And this is going to go to the gallery of where I want them to go. Now I don't want to have recent photos, I want it to choose a certain folder or gallery I should say where these images are going to be collected from. So I'm just going to click on photos that I choose and then I'm just going to go in and choose the photos and then click onto that front page once more and then I'm just going to go through it and just click on some of the images. Now remember that one's already been used so I don't want to use that one again. Just clicking through them. I'm just clicking as I'm going through here with the mouse and just click done. And that's going to show us the images here at the base. So you can see this image is a bit of a stray, so let's make it nice and neat. Let's go back into photos and click into that one image and we'll unclick it. And that will give us a good starting point for the front page. Now there's lots of things here I can change the look with. I can change it into grid and vertical, collage landscape, which is the one that we're seeing now. Click done there. So that's almost the front page finished, but we just need to work on the navigation now. So this is going to affect the whole site. This is why they're kind of showing us red boxes here. So before I go into navigation, let's do some basics. Clicking on the toolbar, and I'm just going to go in a tagline into the just below the logo. So for me, it's going to be fun, funky, and fashion and at this stage I've got the option to change colors and so on but for now we're just going to leave it as it is I can always come back to that again I'm going to work on this search bar here at the top so even though I haven't made any other galleries for now I can just go in here and just plan what I want to do so in my links I'm just going to go and delete the browse and I'm going to delete the search as well and I'm going to start to add in the ones that I want so clicking onto plus then at the top here, just give it a name. So let's call it portrait. And that's going to be a specific page when I've built it, or gallery I should say. So I'm just leave it for now, clicking back onto the links, clicking onto plus to add another one in. This is going to be wedding. Once more, clicking back onto links, pressing the plus again, and just uh, client files. If I just leave as clients, clicking back into links and then of course I want an about page so it's clicking onto there about then once more clicking back into the links to go backwards now you can see here that you'd usually have the about page uh, towards the top so to just to do that just grab it and move it up and that's in its new position and then you can rearrange those whenever you want when the site is live just clicking done there so we've got a basic navigation here at the top so just behind here we've got some icons for social navigation. If you ever want to move this panel to the opposite side, just click on that little arrow there and it'll jump over to the left hand side. So now you can kind of start to see the social. So clicking onto the social panel, next thing I want to do is go in and fill in the Facebook and Twitter and the Google information. So all I'm doing is just pasting in my links. So in my Twitter there, just copy that. Pasting that in. And I find it much easier to paste in rather than type in, just to make sure there's no errors there. And you can see here there's lots of social icons for you to choose from. Just going to click those two basic ones for now though. Now also on their top bar I can change their positions and sizes and so on. But for now I'm just going to click done and click publish and that's going to give us our basic look to the site. So the only thing we've really changed, we've given us uh, images and control the images on the front, we've given ourselves some navigation at the top, 
and even though they're highlighting to white, if I'm clicking them, they're not going anywhere. And here the text Mark Levin could be replaced with a logo at any stage. So for now, let's go and add some more images. So let's click into Organize and let's start to build an About page here. So I'm just going to click on Create and I'm going to select a page. And at this point, just want to call it about. Mark Cleghorn. And then you've got these boxes, of course, to fill in to make sure that the SEO searching is really being used. Definitely go in there and fill in the metadata description as well as your keywording. Fill in as much as you can because they're all going to help your site be SEO search. Smugbug has this great ability to grab all this information and kind of send it out to the world to kind of make sure they can find you. Or, of course, we've got the option to switch things off, of course. It's really down to us how private we want our site to be or how visible we want our site to be. So some basic keyword in there. So just clicking on security for now, I want to keep them all open. So I want them public so the world can see it, but I do have the option here to unlist it and to make it fully private, in fact. So that means even if somebody had the link, uh, an old link, they couldn't actually no longer go to that gallery or page. So if I want to secure it, I can just add a password in here, but I can also switch on the site searchable as well as the smug mug searchable as well, of course, by switching those on and off. So to create now, so this is a page and we're going to double click onto that to go and see the page itself. So by going in here and I click on visit it on your site and we've got ourselves here a blank page and I'm obviously going to need to go in and customize this. So to do that, we just click on to customize. But just before we do that, I know I'm going to need some new images. So we may as well go ahead and actually create some galleries and upload some images. So we're going to come back to here. So let's go into organize by clicking here on the top banner. And at this stage, going to click onto the M. Cleghorn Photography header, which is a little icon with the head and shoulders there. And just going to click on the Create. So I can create a couple of galleries. So I'm just going to click on Gallery. First one is going to be for images on site. So I do need to make this gallery just unlisted. I don't want people to just go and find that gallery by itself. And in the social option, I'm going to leave on the show sharing options on, I'm going to keep that on, uh, but I'm going to switch off the uh, allow comments. In the shopping, I don't want them to be sold, so I'm going to click the off. And so by clicking onto appearance, I want to click onto the design faults, which I'm going to use as smug mug, keep the thumbnails to square, and then sort the uh, images by file name. And by ascending, I want camera information off all the time. I don't want to show the file information for these images for now. I'm going to click the slideshow off for now, as well as the enable map features. And because those are the things that I want to apply to a few galleries, I'm going to create a quick setting. So I'm just going to give it a name, images and galleries for site unlisted. And all I want to do is create another gallery again. In this case, it's going to be called Portrait. Security once more, and I want to click it into Listed. And the social part, I want to actually, again, keep the sharing options and allow comments, allow the likes. Now, remember, this is all down to you, how you want your galleries to look and feel. Shopping again for this, I just want it to be off. Appearance-wise, once more, I'm going to use the designs default. In this case, I want to click it into Smug Mug. Sort by file name once more. Send in, show camera information off. Then file name information, slideshow. It's OK. And quick settings once more. And we're going to save this as galleries for site. So this will just allow me not to have to go through the settings time after time. Quick settings are very, very powerful when you start to really generate lots and lots of galleries within your site. So but once more, I'm just going to click into Create Gallery. In this case, it's going to be Wedding. And I'm just jump straight down to Quick Settings. I'm just going to apply a quick setting. In this case, it's going to be Galleries. Press 
create. So how quicker was that to kind of customize that gallery the way we want it to be? So I need my images into the site, so let's click onto that one. I'm going to click on the upload button. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab a folder once more. So I've got some images here, a couple of photographs that I know I'm going to need during the course of this demonstration session. So let's drag those in there. And it's much easier, of course, if you've planned in advance what you're doing, you know the images that you're going to have to have at hand. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click into Portrait. So remember, these are the images that they're going to kind of demonstrate my work to clients as portraits. So just clicking into a folder again, going into Browse, Portraits. In this case, we'll just choose Kids. Select those images. Just clicking onto the Upload button first and then grabbing my folder and just dragging them in. And whilst that's uploading, I'm just going to click backwards in that folder to the Weddings and clicking into that folder that I've already prepared for the wedding. Click back into Smugbug here. You can see all those images have uploaded themselves. And the last one, clicking into Wedding. Once more, clicking into the Upload, get in that folder, Control A to select all those, and just dragging them through again. So you can see, as far as the file size is concerned, uh, basically, a JPEG file is the only one that it accepts. It does PNG and uh, animated and static GIFs as well. But as far as the JPEG files, of course, you can upload up to 50 megabytes of JPEG. And that's the only thing you're limited, really. You can upload as many JPEGs as you want, of course. There's no limits on SmugMug at all. But you want to make sure that you've got some kind of file management going on. Um, we'll talk about that in future films. So you can see these images here, they're still processing. When we upload images to SmugMug, it's making multiple files for us from the same original file. It never changes the original file because that's what it's going to print from. So it makes it a lot easier for the client to kind of go in and view different size of image. Depends on what we set it to, whether it's a mobile device or a computer. So we're at our basic level in here to show what we've done so far. So let's click Done. Now, if you remember, we were going to work on the front about page. But before we do that, because we're into the navigation here for a minute, where we've got these couple of simple galleries showing, I'm just going to go into Customize, and we're going to Customize Site again. Now, remember, when we're seeing the red box, it's customizing the whole site. So clicking onto Tools, and now with the links in the wedding part, I want to click into it, and then just go and choose a page. And then it's a gallery, in fact, but it's called page. So clicking onto Wedding, back to the links, into Portraits. Once more, selecting Page, go and choose my Portrait Gallery, and, cl and clicking Done. I'm going to go backwards, I'm going to go into the About. Once more, I'm going to choose Page, but this time it is a page. And as you can see, the Page icon here is a kind of a piece of paper with a folded corner there, of course. So you can easily identify the differences. There's three main things within SmugMug, a page, a folder, and a gallery. All we've done for now is created a page and galleries. But what we will be doing in time is developing this site. So it's just not the one series of images that we're going to show here. We're going to need a folder to contain lots of images and galleries and pages. So for now, I'm just going to select the About, click Done. So the next one to do is going to be our contacts. Now we haven't made that up yet. So let's go in and click onto plus. Just put onto contacts. And that is going to be a page. When I so wish, I'm just going to click done for now. But if I've selected a page for now, but I don't go in ahead and choose one, it's going to come up with this kind of question mark warning. So to get rid of that for now, just click back onto uh, the link and just go over to the custom URL for now. And it accepts that as a blank URL for now. I'm going to click Done to that. And you know at least it's there, and that's what we're going to use. Let's go back and finalize the About page. I'm going to publish now, but I do have the option to actually save for later. But before we do that, let's get ready with the client file. So let's click onto Organize. Click back onto the M. Cleghorn Photography header there with a little icon. I'm going to click on Create again, and this time a folder. This is going to be Client Files. And as far as the security, there's not going to have any security on that for now. So just click 
click create and then within in the client files I'm going to click into here and now I'm going to create a new folder again so just by clicking create folder this time it's wedding and create I'm going to create another one so create and folder portrait click create again and you can obviously add as many topics in there as you want so by toggling that down you can see now these are just outside of the folder itself if I click done let's go and build our about page so from the organize here at the top just going to click on to the about page then click on visit it on your site and then we're going to get into the basic customization of this site so clicking on to customize and then we're going to go into customize the site itself now even though on the right hand side here you can see I'm just customizing this page so it's not going to adjust the whole site at all it is just this page and you can see this different kind of color that we've got visible now so as far as this size of the box is concerned I can go in here and change the size at any stage just by going into container width I can also go into the layout mode here and change that so in layout now it's at fixed and that is the width at 960 pixel which is what smug mug advises so I can also turn this into a stretchy page which will allow it to use the full screen on the likes of a tablet or a computer screen depending on the size that it's seeing so I'm going to click onto stretchy so I'm going to click onto contents so let's first of all add a photograph so by clicking onto photo I've got an option of single multiple or slideshow for now I'm just going to add a single photo just drag that in and just hold it just below the about Mark Leghorn and that's where it's going to drop the photograph now at this stage I'm just going to use a single photograph just clicking onto photo go into the images on site what we uploaded before I'm going to click onto done and I don't want this to kind of be very big at all so I'm just going to click into a medium size I'm just going to click to done now let's go ahead and add some text clicking onto the plus once more scroll down to here click onto text and we've got an option for either text or title so just grabbing the text just holding it just to the side of the photograph itself and you'll be seeing that the green line is just right over to the right hand side and just drop it there and then I'm just going to uh, just copy and paste some text into that for a minute and when you paste in the text you often need to just re-space it all out and so on just to make sure that the paragraphs are separated and then you can see here that it starts to uh, allow the kind of show us the shape and size of the overall design so I'm just going to change the container width here so for the physical size so I'm just going to add 20% to that so you can see that the text is now filling up the rest but I don't want to be doing that so to change that I'm going to add a slideshow in so just grabbing the slideshow once more just dragging it into the side here just go and choose a gallery let's choose that front page series of images again just clicking on to done and then all I need to do is decide on how I want the viewer to kind of view and see the slideshow itself as far as its height and shape and so on so first of all let's go into playback and let's make sure it's on to auto start I will use a splash image let's choose the photograph there and click done and that's the image that's going to be on the front no matter what then into the controls I want to switch all those off so it looks slicker on the screen then by clicking done uh, we start to see the kind of the overall look but I want to squeeze it down a little bit more so by clicking onto plus and going down to the design section and I'm going to bring a separator in and at this point I'm just going to bring it into the site so I'm just controlling how I want it to look on the page of course to make it look full kind of um, having a nice design to the overall look now the great thing about this at any stage I can go in and move any of this around so if I wanted the slideshow to be in a different position I can just go ahead and grab it and move this around to see the highlighted green bars and then it restarts the whole design process and then I'm just going to click done because we're finished with the about page and click publish so I've just opened up another browser here just to check it out 
So this is the, here the front page, of course, that we kind of arranged, brought in those images. Now, of course, we've got the navigation for the home. That brings us back to this page, of course. And the other way to obviously get to a home page again is by clicking onto the text or if there was a logo there, doing the same thing. The front page is the images, of course. And you can see if we click onto them, uh, it doesn't go anywhere because we switched that function off. But of course, I could always have that switched on so it could navigate to that gallery or that photograph. So again, just going up to the About page takes us to the About page we just made up. And that includes the photograph of me, sorry about that. The bit of text we've added in. And then of course that slideshow that we've got running on the right hand side there. Then we're going to click into the simple portrait gallery that we built there. We haven't put any text in yet, we'll do that later. And then with the weddings that's exactly the same style and look. The other two links of course, uh, the clients, uh, we've built the folders there but we haven't put anything in there. And as far as the contacts, we're going to build both of those in the next film. So in the second film we're going to be looking at uploading client files making some protection, applying prices to make sure that we can sell our images as well, as well as to kind of build the likes of a contacts page so that we can get our site done in a very, very short time. So I'm Mark Cleghorn for the Photographer Academy. Hope you've enjoyed this section. See you next time. Bye-bye.